Hey everyone, it's Hasan Minhaj. Now that Patriot Act is on break, I really don't know what to do with myself. I mean, you guys know this, my entire life is just hand gestures and LED screens. So with all my free time, I've actually just been scrolling through job listings on the internet, just so I could find something to do. And I came across this open call for a graphic designer at the CIA. This is 100% real, I'm not making this up. They're looking for a graphic designer at the CIA. So I decided to apply. Now you're probably thinking, Hassan, you can't work at the CIA, you're not qualified. Trust me, Muslims in the CIA are like this. After 9-11, the NYPD actually brought in two senior officials from the CIA to help run a program to spy on its own citizens. They visited bookstores, they visited cafes, they visited hookah joints, and of course they visited mosques. Some people saw this and were horrified. They were like, wait, the CIA is spying on us? But I saw this and I was like, I can go to the mosque and get paid? Usually I'm donating money. I didn't know I could make it back. I am telling you, I'm gonna get this job. I don't wanna be cocky, but the CIA loves brown people. Just look at one of their recruitment videos from their website. Now, you might have thought that all CIA employees are men who went to Ivy League schools, but nothing could be further from the truth. Diversity really works at the CIA. I've been able to combine my education and my heritage as an economic analyst whose focus is Middle Eastern affairs. Look how optimistic he is. He's like, you know what, man? The CIA just cares so much about my heritage. They even had me wear a wire around my dad. They just love Iranian culture. So the job posting says they are looking for someone who can shape and lead solutions to data visualization in an increasingly complex and changing technological environment. CIA, have you seen our show? 15.5%, 463%, 30 grand, 3,000 miles, 168, one trillion dollars, nine. All right, let's get down to business. For the application, the CIA wants five examples of my graphic design work. And you guys know me, I'm an overachiever. So for my first three samples, I'm gonna devote them to the CIA's long history of enhanced interrogation. Fun fact, in 2005, the CIA destroyed a bunch of tapes depicting torture. I don't know why. So I did my best to recreate what was allegedly on those tapes using minimalism and primary colors, almost like an airline safety brochure. Let's take a look at some of my work. So over here, we got putting bags over people's heads. Now for clarity, I just added a speech bubble right here where the guy's screaming, what about the Geneva Convention? We've also got them putting someone in a small box for hours on end. Now, if you look at the colors on the box, they're great. And you can also see this, just the fear in his eyes as he's going into the box, because you know he's never gonna see his family again. And of course, I just captured their signature move, waterboarding. Now to the rest of the world, this is considered torture and it's illegal. But to the CIA, this is just a team building exercise. It's kind of like they're trustful. They're like, trust us, you're not actually drowning. So for my next two samples, I decided to give CIA.gov a complete makeover, specifically the CIA Kid Zone, which is a part of their website with games and puzzles, apparently for children. Because we all remember growing up and hearing our moms go, hey, if you finish your homework, you can go to CIA.gov backslash kids page, and you'd be like, really, mom? And she'd be like, only for an hour. A lot of the games feature the CIA agent character named Ava, who looks like a cross between Carmen Sandiego and the Baba Duke. They have these coloring books where Ava's doing things like boarding a plane or standing outside of CIA headquarters, which is objectively boring. Come on, CIA, if you wanna get kids excited about your organization, you gotta give them the real shit. So I wanted to show off my work. So these are a couple things that I've done by hand. This over here, is Ava getting a forced confession at an undisclosed black site in Thailand. So Ava's got the power drill because we know she's a badass. She's holding it up to this guy's knee like, woo, woo, woo. And then this guy over here is like, please, I'm innocent. And Ava's like, I know. And then this is Gabe over here. Gabe's an intern, he goes to NYU. He's getting college credit for this. Now the sad thing is, is Gabe thinks he can use this on his reel, but they're gonna probably destroy this tape later because it's torture. Also, if you look at his face, there's just anxiety in the lower region of his mouth because he doesn't know if he's in Thailand or if he's in Guantanamo Bay. Kids can go crazy. Uh, this is my next one. So this one right here is a personal passion project of mine. This is Ava trying to recruit some informants at a mosque in New York. So as you can see right here, Ava's in the back of the mosque. Now, she's very enterprising. She's in the male section of the mosque during prayer. I told you guys, Ava's a badass. Now Ava knows that she can't break this guy. This is Abdullah, Abdullah's a real believer. Look how I made his mouth. His mouth is like a little bead, like mm, I'm not saying anything. Boom, she scans over here and she sees this kid. He cracked for a can of soda. She's like, Ali, I have a Pepsi. 
And he's like, please, I'll do anything for a Pepsi. Look at his eyes, he's like, give me Pepsi. So that's real fun and it's aesthetically pleasing. And that's really what the CIA Kid Zone's all about. So that's my portfolio. Just so you guys know, I wanna spread the love. The job listing is still live. So go to the video description below and the link so you can apply will be right there. Or you can just walk into your local mosque and just start reading your resume out loud. Someone who looks like Ava will tap you on the shoulder. She'll have a shoe phone and she'll say, can I see your portfolio?